This is an interesting book. It is called Essential Computer Mathematics and was written by Seymour Lipschutz. And this is part of the Shams Outline series. These books are great. I highly recommend them. Uh, let's take a quick look at the contents of this book. I'm going to smell it here. Ah, smells, smells pretty good. Yes, look how old this is. It's all yellow. And I believe this is the first edition, 1987. Let's look at the preface here. Computers appear in almost all fields of human endeavor, wherever data are collected and analyzed. Furthermore, with the development of inexpensive microcomputers, more and more individuals are buying and operating their own computer. For these reasons, certain mathematical topics related to the computer and information sciences, in particular, the binary number system, logic circuits, graph theory, linear systems, probability and statistics, are now being more widely studied. Cool. This book is designed to present these and associated topics in an elementary yet comprehensive form. All right. Let's look at the contents here. So it starts with the binary number system. Then we have computer codes, computer arithmetic, logic and truth tables. It's fun stuff. Algorithms, flowcharts, pseudocode programs, sets and relations, Boolean algebra, logic gates, simplification of logic circuits, vectors, matrices, subscripted variables, linear equations, combinatorial analysis, probability, statistics, and random variables. Yeah, cool. Graphs, directed graphs, and machines. Cool. Yeah. These, these are really good books. I really like the Shams. So you can see basically how it works is you, you, you learn some stuff, right? They give you examples and definitions, and, and then you keep learning. Okay. And then at some point, you get to the exercises. Now, different Shams are different. Some of them will have the exercises after like one or two pages. This one, it took more, more time to get there. I want to emphasize that so not all shams are created equal. I really like the uh, the shams complex variables. Oh, that's probably that one is really good. I also really like the, the topology one is really good. This one's really good. This one's unique. This one does have a lot of topics that overlap with other shams. I mean, like there's a like the one for finite math and like the one for set theory. They're kind of like they have similar topics. I have one for combinatorics that has combinatorics in it. So yeah, just wanted to show you this book really quickly. Um, you can use it to self-study. I highly recommend it. Take care.